Hey guys, the Zardots here, and today I got a tutorial for you that was requested on my BOC 300 edit. It was a kind of tutorial on the rainbow lights circling around the scope, which is um, this bit here, where you sort of get that like, like glow and light go around the edge of the scope. It's quite a cool effect, so um, I said if I get enough requests to do it, and um, I got some me other messages to do it as well, so I thought why not. So we're going to go into After Effects, um, I've just put my clip in, the, in this comp, i put some Twixter on it here, just to slow it down nicely. And I've also got some colour correction on, but we'll turn that off for the moment. So what we're going to do is first, we go to Layer, New, Solid, doesn't matter about the colour, preferably comp size. And then up into the Effects and Presets, we're going to type in 3D Stroke. Now this is a, a plugin that you will have to download from Trap Code. It's part of Trap Code, along with other ones. Um, you should be able to find it. You should be able to uh, find somewhere to download this for free. Uh, it's not too hard to get hold of, so you shouldn't really have a problem with that. Just search for it. And um, if you come up to your effects up here, you go to presets. They have loads of um, pre-made shapes that you can do. Lightning ball. There's some cool ones in here that you can use, but we're just going to go with the basic circle. So I'm going to move that down onto the scope and I'm just going to adjust it using scale. Okay, so um, if you look at the settings, you ignore the colour for now. Go to thickness, we can change the thickness of this. I think I put it at about 12. And um, you can change the feather, get a bit of a feather there. Nice softer edge. If you bring the opacity down later, that um, it looks really nice. And um, you can use this start and end to uh, keyframe to do it spinning around. But we're going to leave that alone. I'm going to use offset instead, and I'll show you that in a minute. We want to click on loop and then come down to taper and click enable. And as you can see, this is going to give you, in this case, going to give you two short ends and the thick part in the middle. But we don't want this. We want the thick part to be on the end like so. Now if we go up to offset and we bring the value up, see the more we bring it up, it um, causes the um, circle to spin round. So we bring this back to zero. I'm going to change some more settings. That's the best thing about this plugin. You can see all the different things down here. There's so much you can do with it, so many different things. So make sure you um, <coughs> try different things, see what you like. So uh, if we come up to the um, start and end here, we can change the size and the length as it goes around, so you could have maybe a smaller one, you could have maybe three smaller ones spinning around, something like that. Some really cool stuff you can do with it, but I'm going to leave that about there. Okay, so that's the basics of that. All you have to do is keyframe the offset, and um, that'll spin around nicely. So next what I'm going to do is, I'm going to bring in, I'm going to effects, generate, and go to four color gradient. And this is basically what I use <clears throat> to give the rainbow effect. And obviously, you can edit all these colors. I'm happy with all these, so I'm going to leave them. Next, I'm going to go into the effects and presets and type in glow. Drag that on. This is going to really brighten it up. Let me put the color correction on. See, so yeah, it's looking really nice now. But um, we can increase this more by bringing down the threshold a little, I think. Yeah, you don't want to bring it out too much because it will start to be down to zero, start to lose the colour. So keep that maybe on 40. Um, 45 will do. We change the radius to give it more glow. Pretty happy with that. Intensity. Make it more intense. I'm pretty happy with all that. And then, we're going to just type in, go back up to the effects and presets, type in star glow. This is again another part of trap code. You'll be able to download this as well. Pop that on. It's going to give it a really nice, bright effect. And you need to play with these color settings a little bit. Because obviously it's taken the color away. So it's maybe a little bit too much. Bring it down a bit. Maybe mm, settings a bit. No. no. Let's leave that. Um, which one does some of these one of these settings work? Green. Oh, 
Hmm. Okay, well that will do. You can play with all these things. I'll just leave it like that, just for the sense of this tutorial. And um, so, uh, as you saw in the tu in the edit, it was well, it was poorly, but it was motion tracked around the scope. Now, this it was difficult to motion track. Um, you can't really track it using um, inbuilt plugins because obviously when it zooms in, these it was. Um, the bit is tracking the scope will cut out. So I basically had to hand track this like a fool. It took me quite a while to hand track it, but um, it just was more reliable that way. So um, I'm going to quickly track this for you, and then I'm going to sh I'm going to key frame the offset, and I'm going to show you how it looks when I've tracked it up, and uh, when I've key framed the offset and I've finished with it. Okay, I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay guys, so I've just quickly tracked this in a couple of minutes, so I'm just going to uh, just quickly pre and preview it. So that's it basically, it's obviously a really quick motion track, spend more time if you want. That's basically how it works, for every, on the offset, for every 100 is a full spin. So I just keyframed it up at about 500, so it does 5 spins obviously. And uh, that's about it. Um, also, if you didn't like this star glow, that's Try and also, like I said, try different things. So by duplicating this glow, and you can just mess with these things by changing up. That's got quite a nice glow to it. Increase the radius a bit. Like I said, just play with these settings. There's so much different stuff you can do with it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you um, found it quite easy to follow. I'm not, I know I'm not the best at tutorials, but I tried my best. I wanted to do this for you guys since it was requested. So um, I hope this got, helped you lot out. Um, I'm going on holiday in a couple of days for two weeks. So obviously I won't be uploading at all. Um, but please stay subscribed because I will be um, very active over summer. I'll be uploading a lot of edits so as soon as I come back off holiday. Um, um, add me on Skype if you want to contact me. I'll still be available to talk to if you need help for anything. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll 